Guys, welcome to episode number 33 for Duel Night 5Ds. In today's episode, we'll be tackling right into Crimson Crisis. Before we get started with today's episode, a huge shout outs to all our Patreon members. Duel Night would not be where it's at today without your help and your support. If you guys want to get extra content for Duel Night, Ultimate Losers Match, Best 2 out of 3 Finals, Duel Night Extras, and Early Access to all Duel Night episodes, be sure to sign up for the Patreon today in the link down below. Again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for for supporting Duna on Patreon, and we will not be here without all of you guys' support. All right, guys, without further ado, let's roll the intro. Welcome to Duel Night. This is a brand new draft series where four players take their deck building and dueling skills to the next level. It goes like this. The set for every episode will be divided into four piles. One for each player to draft a single card from and switching piles afterwards until there are no more cards left to draft. Each duelist comes up with a 40 card deck using their drafted cards, dueling one another in a best of one. The winners of each duel will proceed to the finals battling for the title of champion. The deck box continuously builds as each set progresses, adding the best cards from previous sets to the arsenal. Watch as the four of us do it off to see who can become the master of Duel Night. Let's begin. All right, guys, here we go. Crimson Crisis. We're heading on into the power of the Assault Modes. Jack Atlas, Red Dragon Archfiend. We got Stardust Dragon Assault Mode as well. And you guys already know we cannot start a Duel episode without calling my boy Chuck. Please explain what Crimson Crisis is all about. Silhouettes of three feathery avian creatures can be faintly seen passing through the night sky above mysterious triangle. But these are no ordinary birds. Humanoid beings genetically engineered with flight, the Black Wings have a covert mission to accomplish. Uncover the secrets of the Code A ancient ruins. Giant pods draw their attention and squad leader Sirocco swoops to land. Gale and Bora follow suit. They notice an alien kid directing his blaster towards the birds, with the stealth mission at risk of compromise. Bora quickly pierces his rival's skull. The extraterrestrial collapses, and a laser escapes the weapon. Within moments, lights flash and alarms blare. Alien Ammonite rushes to begin retaliation. It resurrects his fallen soldier and synchronizes to summon Cosmic Fortress Golgar. The Raptors overpower the alien until Assault Mode Activate echoes throughout the ruins. The pod walls drop. Mutations of the most powerful monsters emerge. Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode annihilates Sirocco with a hot red beam of fire. The Crimson Crisis has commenced. In the wake of such might, the remnants of the flock synchronize for Armor Master, stalling until reinforcements can arrive. The world is in crisis, and war seems inevitable. Can Black Wings hold their own versus advanced aliens and awesome assault modes? Find out on this episode of Jewel Knight. Welcome to another episode of Duel Knight Crimson Crisis. You already know what's going on. Crimson Crisis is an epic set with the Assault Mode cards and a whole bunch of support. And maybe I might hint out what I'm playing today. What's going on, everybody? I'm back on Duel Knight. I need my redemption. Episode one was absolutely terrible. Uh, but you know, I learned from my mistakes and I'm here for the ultimate Duel Knight redemption. Let's go. Duel Knight, welcome back to another episode. Another episode of me winning. Let's go! So guys, we're three sets deep into 5Ds. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, the last time I got a Duel Knight victory was in the Grand Prix. <sighs> guys, I feel like it's been a long time, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm itching 
I'm itching for a victory today. Come on. Come on, guys. Believe in me. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Do Night. Rock Bims in Crisis, baby. We got a bunch of crazy cool decks today. Are you getting excited to draft? Yes, sir. Listen, Milano. Bro, why do you suck, man? Bro, this guy got the to the finals twice, having not even won, bro, this and is, feels so Steven, good about this, it. Yo, this, I'm gonna, this, I'm gonna this, be the one. Season, right? I'm gonna this be season, the bro. one that puts this guy in his place. Let the draft begin. begin! Steven, how's your deck, bro? Very good. How's yours? Well, I only have five cards. You have five cards. I have three cards. You have four cards. You liar. What? Well, why are you? Why are you peeking like that? Said it's hard being a silly goose in a world of serious geese. It's pretty powerful. Damn, that's kind of deep still. As soon as I duel you round one, <laughs> catch my brain watching beam. One hour of intense draft, guys. Very, very intense. Uh, Crimson Crisis is looking absolutely spicy. Milano, well, how do you feel about your deck? Bro, I think my deck is out of this universe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Steven, 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 what do you think about your deck? I like my deck. I think it's really good. Okay. And uh, I'm sensing a repeat. Really? No, it's not happening. A uh, repeat. Steve, how are you? I'm feeling good about my deck, feeling uh, telekinetic. Oh, I mean, no, that's just gotta give it away. Yeah, I do know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, I do know what you're saying. How are you, Sam? How's your deck? How's your deck, Sam? He's, wait, he's been waiting for everyone to ask him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's your deck? We can't buy a deck. No one cares. 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 You, know, I don't you? Think well, guess what? You're about to find out. <laughs> Sam, I hope I play you because I need to defeat you in order to maintain my legacy as the truest duelist as known to man. Milano, you suck. Milano. <laughs> All right, run it then. Let's see, bro. Two Red Dragon Arch Fane. Two assault mode, are you ready? Yes. One, two, three. Mm. Oh, I hope I was. Three. All right. Two, two one. Yes! Oh, oh, this is finish is the <laughs> Rivalry? We have a rivalry. You're going down! A friendly battle. Friendly battle. Yes. Let's do it. Wait, Let's wait, do it. Wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Let's run it up! Oh, I fucking hit my elbow so hard, bro. Going up against Steven, we've had our fair shares of battles. You know, he's actually a good duelist, but you know what, I'm not afraid of anybody. You're going down, pen God. And you know what, after you lose to me, you better change your channel name. Sue, that's my man. I've always been cheering for Sue, but now, even though I still hope he beats me, that will be impossible. Let's go. Oh, I've been hoping to play Sam. This is gonna go one way or another. Either he will come out on top or I will. That's pretty obvious, actually. I need to bounce back, and luckily enough, I think I have the right strategy to do it. I'm facing Milano, and Sue is facing Steven. <laughs> Yo, Steven, I'll see you in the finals. Episode one of Duel Nights, and for this season, I built sidekicks. And you know what, the draft, I saw sidekicks, I'm building them again. I gotta get my redemption. Here is my... Deck list. I went for a psychic deck, and of course, from here, you can tell that my engine was based on the psychics. Creebonts will definitely be my baby monster that if I get him on the floor, get him on the field, he'll keep me planted and ready to build around my engines. My powerful spell cord, of course, is my emergency teleport. There's only one in the draft, but I was lucky to get it quick time, and of course, from there, I can summon all of my tuners from my deck that are psychic. Besides my Kribons, my boss monster is Overdrive Teleporter. If I can get him as fast out as possible, I can of course begin to bring out my Synchro Psychic monsters. So of course for him, his effect is that once he's summoned, I pay 2,000 life points, I can summon two level three Psychic monsters from my deck. And of course from there, I can Synchro into my big boss monster, Hyper Psychic Blaster. He's got the big cannons and can blast everybody away. Level nine Synchro Super Boss monster. And of course my best spell card in the game is Psychokinesis. This card can destroy any card in the field by paying a thousand life points. I've played three of those in my deck and if I can use these cards, I of course can get in my engine rock and rolling. I also went for a mini floater engine of drafting three giant rats to bring out my psychic earth monsters. But of course, I saw Blackwing Gale the Whirlwind. They're gonna be a side engine. I got two Gale the Whirlwinds, one Boar the Spear and two Sirocco the Dawn. Who doesn't love black wings? So I made a psychic and a mini black wing deck today.
My deck is insane. This is my deck list. The idea I'm gonna be using with my deck is utilizing the plat strategy. I have a whole garden up in here utilizing Lone Fire's special effects, Miracle Fertilizer to bring Lone Fire out, and my boss monster to run into a celestial. I don't know. And we're gonna be destroying everyone today. I'm gonna be protecting all this strategy with Debris Dragon. Now that Dandelion's available, I'm gonna be utilizing Debris Dragon and Dandelion to turbo a Black Rose. I'm gonna protect all this with my trap cards. I love you guys. Keep tricking me on throughout the duel. If you guys cheer on enough, I will win. Let's go. Now you guys may be wondering, <laughs> why am I wearing this hat? In Crimson Crisis, there's some brand new alien support. Well, 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 I would like to inform you that this is my deck list. The Alien Ammonite is the ultimate tuner alien monster. Alien Ammonite can be used to synchro summon the Cosmic Fortress Golgar. Golgar, my boss monster, has two special abilities. Its first effect is to bounce all continuous spells and trap cards on the field. Then I get to distribute alien counters to any monsters on the field. Afterwards, I get to remove two counters from anywhere on the field. And then pop a card on the field. During the draft, I managed to get like a lot of the same staple, which I'm gonna try to avoid doing going forward. I feel like my deck is very redundant. However, strap in my alien folks and we will take over this planet. Okay guys, this draft is extra special because I felt my inner Jack Atlas and my inner Yusei in today's episode. Guys, oh my God. I think I have the best deck in the entire room. Time to kick things to overdrive with Assault Modes. Here we go. The entire goal of this deck is to try to get out Stardust Dragon Assault Mode and of course Arcanine Assault Mode and also Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode. These are the three Moss Monsters I have in my deck. Red Dragon Archfiend, it destroys all monsters in the field. Arcanine Magician Assault Mode destroys all cards your opponent controls and Stardust Dragon negates literally anything and comes back every single time. So as soon as I get access to Stardust Dragon, I use Assault Mode Activate to bring out Stardust Dragon Assault Mode and then I basically have infinite negates every single time. Single time. When I began to draft, I first picked Instant Fusion and all the Synchro Monsters possible. In the draft, I got three Stardust Dragon, I got all the Colossal Fighters, I got all the Arcanine Magicians, and that way, all the other Dunite contestants wouldn't have a chance to make cards like Stardust or Colossal Fighter against me. And it also helps my strategy as well because I need these Synchro Monsters to help make the Assault Modes in my deck. I also drafted cards like Rose Warrior as well. She's really awesome because she's a level four tuner. This with Instant Fusion gives me automatic Stardust Dragon, and then if I have Assault Mode Activate, which utilizing Assault Beast can get that directly from my deck to my hand with absolute ease to get access into Stardust Dragon Assault Mode. I also drafted Gale as well because Gale with a level four monster helps make Arcanite Magician, which helps me make Arcanite Magician Assault Mode that's directly in my deck. So guys, this is my deck list right here. Very, very powerful deck, and I think I'm gonna take it home today for this episode of Duel Night. Let's begin. Samuel, it's time to duel. Where did you get that? What are you talking about? Bro, where'd you get that hat, fam? This? Yeah, where'd you get that? Bro, what do you mean? I've been wearing it all, all week. You haven't seen me? <laughs> what? It's my hat, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> what? Listen, what, listen, what listen. Is that an alien? Listen, it's Yoda. I don't know Yoda. He's one of the most classic aliens of our pop culture. So you need to educate yourself. And, oh, damn. You know this makes you look 10 times uglier. <laughs> Bro, it doesn't matter how ugly I am if I'm gonna beat you in a duel. Bro, 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 bro. <laughs> duel! Two. Perfect! <laughs> I'll go first. <laughs> You're not like, gonna kill you. <laughs> alright, no, this is my thing. I gotta carry that brainwashing beam. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, alright, alright. Three, two, one, duel it! Alright, good luck, duelist. What does your deck do? You don't even know what deck I'm playing, Sam. How would you even ponder such a thing? I will go first. Draw. Mm -hmm. Play down one face down, and I will pass the turn to you. That's it? Yes. I don't think you're ready for my strategy, Sam. Maybe last time I didn't propose it as I would today, but I learned my lesson, bro. I can count now. I can read now. I'm undefeatable. I know, bro. All right, Milano, I'm gonna start off very, very strong. First and foremost, I'm gonna normal summon Summoner Monk. 
Okay. Switch to defense mode. Sure. I will activate Summoner Monk's ability. Mm -hmm. I will discard my powerful instant fusion to the graveyard to special level 4 warrior monster from my deck. I'll allow it. It's actually any level 4 monster. Any level 4 monster. So I'm going to summon, of course. Rose Warrior of Revenge! Impressive. And now, Milano, I will perform a Synchro Shogun. I will Synchro Summon using Rose Warrior and Summoner Monk. Send these two cards to the grave. The Synchro Summon into my Stardust Dragon! Already. Stardust Dragon on the first turn? What? Already first turn Stardust Dragon? What the heck? <laughs> Enter battle phase. Sure. Yeah. On the flip. Alien Gray! <laughs> so I draw one. What is the draw my battle when it's flipped? I draw one card. But also, since it's been flipped face up, I place one alien counter on your Stardust. <laughs> and uh, so if my monster battles it, it loses 300 attack and defense. That's what monsters with alien counters get. Oh, so it dies, right? Yeah, so I'll die and draw one card due to its effect. Yeah, you're crazy. All right, Milano, I will send Assault Beast to the graveyard. Oh my gosh, add Assault Mode, activate. Add Assault Mode, activate! Bro, no way he got it already, From bro. My to my head. What is this? Now, Mr. Milano. Okay. This guy got the setup turn one, fam. Okay, Milano. Sure. I will set one card face down, and now I will end my turn. I will draw. Okay. Anything during the draw phase or the standby phase? Uh, no, you're good. How am I gonna beat Starter Dragon Assault Mode? <laughs> uh, let's see here. What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> you bark? How do you do that? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm not barking again, bro. Sorry. Play down one, face down. Yep. And on the turn. All right, end phase, I'll activate the Assault Mode Activate. That's fine. That means he's gonna bring the, the Starter Dragon Assault Mode already? Are, already? Yeah, I will tribute Starter's Dragon. Mm -hmm. Graveyard. To special summon. My Starter's Dragon Assault Mode. Come on out, Assault Mode. That's so crazy. This is the perfect combo right here. Assault Mode Activate with Starter's Dragon. Helps me make Starter's Dragon Assault Mode. And guys, it's looking really, really good from here. He's pretty awesome, bro. Pretty awesome. I got this guy for my first 10 ever. Really? Yeah. Nice. It's crazy. Thank you. It's 3,000 attack. All right. Uh, that's it? No. Drop a turn? Mm-hmm. Wow. All right, Milano, I will normal summon my Assault Mercenary. And I call priority. Oh my goodness. Okay, return. Once all mode activated to destroy, okay, sure. So I'll use effect to return this to the top of my deck. Mm -hmm. Return my deck. Destroy that beat. Okay. Alright, guys. I, it seems that I have had to force myself to make the play to resolve my gores in order to defeat a Stardust. But now I can no longer defeat a Stardust because my D prison is gone. That was one of the baits. Real. <laughs> it's quite shyst. Now I'll enter battle phase, I'll attack with eight. Oh. Okay, no, I'll attack with 18. Okay. And I'll attack with 8,000. I'll take both. I'll be at 3,200 your AK. You have no cards on the field, any effect you want to activate in hand? No. Okay. Yeah, you have Gores. Gores is in the draft? Yeah, Gores is in the draft. Really? Well, maybe that's why you said it, right? I don't know. And uh, Milano, that's it. I have my turn. Alright, I will draw. You're at 3200? Yes, it appears so. Damn, it's really low. It is. And I'm just trying to think literally like what is the best course of action for this situation even. Um, do you have Lava Golem? Look at Lava Golem. Like? Oh, what? What? I could Lava Golem out? Are you sure? What if I can negate it? <laughs> Come on, bro. You think I'm a beginner duelist, bro? Please, I'm just trying... <laughs> yeah, I can't negate Lava Golem. Okay, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to set... Assault mode activates in your graveyard. Yep. Go. I'll draw a turn. I'll set one more, sir. Proceed. Okay. Alright, Milano. Uh, I will normal summon Blackwing Gale the Whirlwind. 
Mm, oh no, that's very troublesome, but no, I will not respond. What would you target with your monster reborn? My alien gray? Uh, no, I'm targeting... Um, Summoner monk. Summoner, yeah. <laughs> I will judgment your reborn. Solemn judgment on my monster reborn? Milano's just lowering his light points for no reason at this point. I'm at 1600 now. Yeah, obviously I cannot beat that. Uh, I'll just enter the battle phase then. Uh, uh, I'll attack with Stardust Dragon Assault Mode. On Declaration, I'll use a Book of Moon targeting your Assault Mode. Uh, nothing. It just destroys the spell trap by uh, by removing an eight counter from your monster. I'll attack for thirteen. On declaration, I'll use enemy control on your assault mer mercenary. No, just to turn into defense position. Okay. That was the only way I was ever winning against that card, bro. Gore's effect. I'm not even. I'm not even quite there yet. Okay, so thirteen. Though. Special summon. I get one a token. So I will special summon Gore's in defense mode and my token okay, in defense just, mode. Just, okay, yeah, yeah. A classic I've learned from plant format, Econ plus Gores. So Milano is playing a trap deck with Gores. I don't know if it's a deck building skill issue. Wait, it's Milano. <laughs> okay, so the 13. I mean, these two have been locked in Okay, is that permanent? Okay. <laughs> That's crazy. So how much you have? 300 life points. Okay, and... End phase. So this dragon assault mode does it. Okay. Draw. Okay, I will be normal summoning my alien Ammonite. Yep. I'll perform a synchro summon. That's a level one? Yes, it's a level one. One level, one level is token. Seven. It's mandatory. Wait, you, what level are you giving me that? It's <laughs> mandatory, bro. We get activation, right? Hey, do you want me Colossal Fighter? <sighs> I do not, unfortunately, I do not have Colossal Fighter in my strategy. I didn't think I would particularly need it. I guess I will stall. That is my only play. Yep. You know, I just crashed, thought this comes back. back Did that even if it's destroyed that way? Yeah. And when this card in the field destroyed at all? Yeah, yeah but he's 25 defense. 1250 defense, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I mean, I just have to play it like this. So, I mean, Red Dragon Oshfiend, you're not going to put in very much work here because you're just going to get negated and destroyed. But, uh, but, uh, no, but uh, then I'll die. <laughs> there really is no way, unfortunately. So, I just have to hope you decide to throw battle phase. I will attack Gale. Are you it's mandatory. I will must be activated the effect. Yep. All right, I'll play down a face down card and I will pass the turn. Face. Yes. Mm-hmm. Nice. Um I'll switch mercenary to attack. Sure. And I will normal summon. I will judge me your Sangan. I will not let you summon your Sangan, bro. Okay, so it doesn't trigger this. No. Sure. I'll enter battle phase. Yeah. All right. I'm a one, 150. I'll use my alien powers to stop your attack. My turn. Okay, bye. Draw! <laughs> <laughs> Good game, bro. Good game, bro. It's okay. Yeah. Ah, I just lost my duel. Darn it. But fortunately for you guys, you will see me run it back on Patreon versus the ultimate loser, whoever that may be. How many turns did I, how, how many, yeah, Milano, you suck. <laughs> so, Steven, oh my. This now is the semifinals, and the winner of this. How four, baby. Either How four. you're gonna face your brother, or I'm gonna face my brother. Whoever Guess what different Sam, mothers. Whoever faces Sam is gonna destroy many things. All right? Let's run it! Let's go, all right? That's the goal. Finals, easy.
I want you to win today. Okay, so no, 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 don't give me that. Don't give I'm me. not gonna let be, you win. Be, be, yeah, but no, I will you. never let you win. I will never Absolutely. let you win. But if I win, you, you I'll be so pr I'll be so proud of you. Right, I'll be so proud of you. But I can't let you win. You, you already got to win this season, right? Yeah, Sam did it. it's most likely gonna be two. But like, I hope that you win the whole thing. Oh, thank you, brother. Let's do Let's it. go. I'm cheering you on, but I will All destroy right. you. I roll. <laughs> Four. It's a big roll. It's a big roll. All right, come on. Three. I'll go first. Good luck. May the best duelist win. He will. May the best duelist win. Let's do it. I draw. Yes. Whoa. All right. I will start my turn. <laughs> Let's put on the pressure now. Low fire blossom. And then you're going to think, what's a low fire going to do? Summon a little baby? Taylor? You're right. It will summon a baby. Taylor? No. <laughs> it will summon a baby. Globo? Someone know. who has babies, a MILF, tyrannical princess of Kalamalos. What? Did you just summon that like that? Yeah. Wow, Lone Fire just summons out a boss monster? That's pretty easy, man. Let's talk about good combos. A Yu-Gi-Oh lesson for all you guys watching. Make sure to control the tempo of the game. This goes for every single card game. This goes for chess. This goes for every game. Control the tempo to your regard, to your strategy. So now all of Soom's plays will be result revolving around clearing my 20 hundred attack monster, allowing the whole flow of the game to be under my method. So keep that in mind for the rest of the duel. This is why having a card like Goldfire is so powerful here. This is where my whole strategy kicks in. So let's get this into gear because it's going to be my duel now. Like that, like that, eh? Like that, like that. I'm to activate. Wow. I learned from Sam, who Sam summoned his boss monster turn one. I summoned one of my boss monsters turn one. Wow, that's good. Very good. And then I will set two and pass. That's a good start. That's a great start. Thank you. That's a really good start. The Bro. power of Lone Fire Blossom. Okay. First turn, I'm gonna set one. Set one. Right, what am I taking? All right. I draw. It's exactly the card I was looking for. Mm -hmm. I was capping, actually. I don't need that one. I will. Summon UFO Turtle! UFO Turtle. And I will add to the battle phase. Battle phase? Okay. No, normal human beings would attack you with UFO Turtle. Yeah. I mean, with, with Titanial. Because they would think this is a high de a defense monster. I think it's a low defense monster. And I want this to attack you directly. Oh, wow. With her abs. Actually, that's her pedals. Okay. Attack! Are you sure, Steven? Yes. With UFO Turtle. Yes. He matches time! <laughs> <Yeah, you> <laughs> I'll do life points. Oh, that did not go very well with my strategy. Okay, it's minus. Do you lose life points, right? Lose I lose 50? 50, yes. All right. Thinking of one attack. I don't, I'll pass. Pass? Okay, my turn? Yes. Right. Okay, I'm going to. Hmm. Giant rat. So, UFO turtle, he summons out of fire. So, I'm yes. just going to bring out a lone flyer or something. Um, okay. One of my many options. Many options. Um, I'm gonna set one. Yes. Draw. Good move. Ha 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 ha! My next move! I will summon! Do I go for it? Should I go for it, bro? Steven, do what you gotta do, brother. Violet Witch! What does this guy do? This girl do. When the, when Violet Witch is destroyed by battle, I'm sent to the graveyard. I got a plant monster with 1,500 less defense from my deck to my hand. But she's destroyed by battle. Yes. Okay, cool. And then I will take my Violet Witch and attack your face down monster. Okay. See you later. Dr. Cranium, when this card is destroyed by battle, yeah. I can pay 800. Ooh, add a psychic from your deck to your hand. Like do you hand. choose to activate the effect? I do choose to activate the effect. Lower your life points by 800. Thank you. And I hope that that will be the first 800 of the next 7200. Okay, and now with that effect, I'm going to add the one and only... Crabons! Crabons! My boy. Uh-oh. My boy, Crabons. My next move, I've made the decision, the calculated decision... To not to attack. Two attack your giant rats. <laughs> okay. Get out of the field, you ugly rat. Effect. Some one hundred or fifteen hundred or less from my deck. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna bring out my other boy. Oh no. My other. Another rat. My other rat. Okay. Crash. Attack with you, Turtle. So you both get effects, huh? Yes. And me being turn player, you have to summon your card out first. Nice. That is very. This, is, this was my strategic decision that hopefully pans out. 
I might got up some, something up my sleeve, actually. Let's go, Giant Rat. I'll go, you have turtle. All right, Giant Rat, you have turtle. And then we're going to go into... Is, is it the same time, or is it like... Uh, you first? You, you still went first. I still went first? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, one moment on my summon. I'll go with Lone Fire and I'll attack you for 100. Yeah. Uh, main phase two. Yeah. I will use Lone Fire's special ability. Mm -hmm. With the special ability, I'll bring out another Titania, Princess of Camellia. Very. I will then. Pass my turn. All right, Steven. This duel seems to be going back and forth. It's tough. But for Steven to end his turn with two Titanials, wow, that's gonna be tough to beat. So by dictating the flow of the game to this point, I have a huge field. He's gonna have to clear one of them. And the beauty of this deck is that once one of my tyrannical milfs hit the field, I could bring back more and more easily. That's what the plant deck does by Miracle Fertilizer, uh, Poison Mummy Lord, Lord Poison, whatever that card is. So that by dictating the tempo of the game, the game's already mine. Even if he has a way to outmine, he is playing according to my rules. Here we go. Draw. All right, baby. I'm going to normal summon Gale, the whirlwind. Gale. Normal summon Gale, the whirlwind. That's fine. What is the effect? I'm going to target one of your rose people. Target one of your rose people. I will use... The fact that Titanium can negate and destroy. Okay. 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 Now, I'm gonna use Itali. Yep. All right, Itali, here we go. Combo activated. Let's go. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna start from my deck. Pretty bonds? Nope. Thank you. You have five and nine. Okay. Uh, yep. Synchro? Yep. Level six. I bring out the one and only Goyo oh! Guardian! Wait, this, does this take this now? Goyo Guardian! Amazing! One of the best Synchro monsters. I had to draft Goyo right away. And oh boy, he's gonna save the day. He has the same attack level as his Hatanio, but oh boy, how are you gonna be Goyo Guardian when his effect is amazing? Even if, if it leaves crash, the field, they're both it? the same? If I crash it, do I take it? Oh, yo, uh, you can't make this actually. What? No, 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 it's into that oh, Okay, okay. I'm so upset right now. It has nothing to do with Duel Knight. I'm upset because I lost chess, a chess game before we entered. Uh, yeah, Goyo doesn't do anything. Because it's supposed to be, because oh, it's the original, right? Steven, Steven, Goyo Guardian, come on. Should I attack? I don't know. Those two face downs are a little scary. In the past, I've been taught to be aggressive sometimes, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? But you know what? You don't need to be aggressive. I'm gonna pass my turn. That sounds good, That's my goal, turn. draw. Your turn, Steven. How will you beat the Mr. Goyo Guardian, Trudge? That is a good question. Mr. Trudge. It's gonna be very tough. Well, I think for starters, to destroy that card, I can just put it in defense. I think that works, right? Obviously, put that card in defense! <laughs> and then, after that, I will enter the battle phase, and I will destroy your Goyo little baby guardian. Ah, come See on! See yourself in the graveyard. Stupid control. Then set two, and another, and pass. Guys, wanna know what's funny? Goyo guardian just died to a spell card that basically does what Goyo does. Sad. That's tough. My turn. Yes. Draw. All right. Okay. First, what I'm going to do, I'm going to normal summon Crabons. Crabons. Response. No. No response? No response. No response. That's it. Pass? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Fair. That's it. On your end phase, I will use Limit Reverse. Oh my. On Lone Fire Blossom. Oh my. And I will draw. That's tough. My next move, 
Heart of Avarice! <laughs> Steven. Yes, sir. He's got everything. And now I would be able to draw two cards. Wow, but guess what else I did? I put back my second Tetrarchal Princess. So now, guess what? You, you have to deal with another one. Yeah, draw two and do it. All right. I hope you draw it. If I draw one, I will be sad. Do you play two? Yes. Okay. All right. Next. Come on, duelist. I will now flip up Dandelion! What does Dandelion do? If it gets synchro? Oh, you're about to find out, my friend. It gets two tokens? Oh, two. And then, Low Fire Blossom, tribute to Dandelion to bring out two tokens. Jeez. Two tokens and Camellia? Yes. Jeez. Like that, like that. Like that, like that. Like that, like that. All right. A plant, yo, co copy plant must have not been in here because it's too broken. Copy plant? Copy plant like, makes his deck go absurd. Yeah, yeah. It's either that or it's, he must have thought it was too shit, but that would have been a horrible, horrible, horrible judgment. Mm. But this deck with a tuner is insane. Like with uh, Dandelion. Now giving me two tokens. Okay. By any chance, are you scared? Never. Massive field right now. Adding Dandelion to this plant strategy now it makes it so all my cards that get tributed have insane value. Lone Fire tributing this, Tyrannical tribute to Dandelion, even my Polynosis eventually tribute Dandelion. Dandelion is insane in this deck, giving me a massive, massive wall for the rest of the duel. And when I draw my Debris Dragons, it's over for my friend Zoom. Good, you shouldn't. Because I got my Magician, little Psychic boy on the, on the field. Good. Got some reflection on me. Good, good. Some life points. Good. I will now enter the battle phase and attack twice. I'll take... 1600. I'll then go to my main phase two. Eat the effects. And I'll pass my turn. All right, Steven. Let's go. Okay. First, Steven. Heavy Storm! Ah! <laughs> Heavy Storm. No, these two, two mirror forces. The mirror force? Both of them. I had in case you MSP oh. or Dust Tornado or some shit or pop one of the effects. Ah! <laughs> No! All right. What? Okay, to this point now, I have been dictating the whole tempo of this game, but Heavy Storm now gives my control a little bit to him because now I can't use my sets that are broken. Heavy Storm! Oh my goodness. Let's rev it up. Come on. This is my chance. Let's hope we can do something for me. I'm going to tribute summon the Cribbons to summon Overdrive. No! No! All right, here's effect. I can pay 2,000 life points to special summon two level three psychic nerf type monsters from my deck. This effect can only be used. Let's go. Oh my god. That's fine. Here comes my boss monster, Overdrive Teleporter. But now he's gonna help me bring out my bigger boss monster. Well, it's not fine. Fuck! Overdrive effect. Yes. Two level, pay 2,000 life points. Ah, uh, yeah. Things aren't looking good for me. To summon one Psychic Commander and one Psychic Commander. Two Psychic Commanders. Two psychic commanders from my deck, okay? Yeah. All right. I still don't see how you're beating my Titanium. That's if I don't Synchro Summon. I'm gonna Synchro Summon Psychic Commander and Overdrive Teleporter to summon level nine Hyper. Whoa! Blaster! Let's go, Blaster! Blast Steven away. Let's go. <laughs> He's a level nine psychic synchro monster. That's really good. That's not bad. Oh, His effect is, if this card attacks a defensive monster, inflict piercing damage at the end, if this card attacks a defensive monster, it can get life points to attack. But I, that's not why I want it. I want this to be one of your roses. Uh. The first moment in the game where now Soom dictates the tempo of the game. He has a massive monster here that is piercing damage. So all my tokens, if I have three Dandelion tokens in the field, that's 9,000 damage. I cannot allow that. I have to swing back tempo to my favor. I have to clear this monster by any means necessary. Enter battle phase, Steven. Yeah. Psychic Blaster, attack one of your roses. Goodbye. You still got one more. Still I will lose 200 points of damage. Psychic like Commander, attack one of your Dandelion tokens. I have one token left. All right, Steven. That's the best I can do for now. <sighs> you still have your that turn, was, bro. That was good on your end, bro. Thank you, bro. I appreciate Draw it. Draw! Part of the card! Debris Dragon! Ah! Yeah. Debris Dragon! Yeah. Yeah. 
Let's go! What? The Bree Dragon effect! Oh, that's crazy. The Bree Dragon and Top Deck. Talk about harder. The that's crazy. Seeking on my card. Yes. Danny Lion! Wow. And then, think. What do you got, Steve? Now. The Bee Dragon. Now I have to wow. think about this very deeply. I have to destroy your monster that poses as a, as a current threat. Yes. Yes, you do, sir. So here's what I'm going to do. I will set up a wall of defense. I'll take my Debris Dragon and my Dandelion Seven. to summon a Black Rose. And then the thought will come. The effects have blown everything up. Do I use the effect or use do it. I not? Use it. But I will have five mo I'll put that in defense, by the way. No, this gets its effect. Okay, I have to put it in attack because of its obvious yeah. effect. But what's going to say something? What was it? You banish from time monster, gear attack, and one defense monster. Oh, okay. So would it work? I have unless to you switch my. Unless you switch it. If I want to use the effect, actually. Black Rose, you're, you're literally a teaser today, huh? You're a little Black Rose dragon, you know? I might have. How many cards do you have in hand? Five. Four. I might have to use this effect because that does piercing damage, right? It does piercing damage. Yeah, so I'll, I'll go... Points. And I'll get life points. Are you going to summon your tokens? So this is tokens. mandatory. I could lose if there's three tokens because you just attack 9k. So I'll go no, one. chain link one, chain link two for three turns in a row, I mean. Oh. So I will result, use Black Rose's effect. Destroy everything? Yeah, uh, with Jack Dying Line, chain link one, Black Rose, chain link two. So the end result, everything is destroyed, but I'll have two tokens. Have to for sure? Yeah. Okay. All right. Moves, I cannot risk uh, moves, moves. losing via that ideology there. I'll pass. Okay. My turn? So yeah. two, how much are life points do Daddy Lions? Uh, there's zero attack, zero defense. Okay. Because you have a monster on the field, I can normal summon a cool monster called Blackwing Sorako the Die! What the? What is this? Blackwing! If Crow. you're a point control monster, you control no monster. You can normal summon card like Tribune. One for turn three, you're making your target one black one. Once you control until it gains attack, you to a total. 4,000 attack? Oh my god. Wait, it's 4,000 attack? Uh, is that what it says? I don't think it'll be 4,000 attack. I think if I have another one, no? Once per turn during your main phase, you can target one blocking monster you control until the end phase again attack you to a total attack of all black wing monsters currently accept, oh, accept itself. Yeah, okay, that's so good. I need someone else, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. good. 4K would have been quite the issue. That would have been hard if I had another monster. Yeah. What did I do? Black Wing! Whoa! <laughs> and you know what he does? Uh, Steven? Oh, piercing! He does piercing. No! And you know what? How am I losing this game? You're, I don't know what the, No! We're gonna use Soraka's effect. No! And we're gonna give him 3,700. No, what the, no! And because the Dylan's are undefeated defense, right, Steven? Right? No! It's a piercing! It's really an attack. It doesn't matter. 3,700 damage, I'll lose in the next turn. I'm gonna end a battle phase. Black Wing! No! Token! Lockdowns! That's right, baby! I'm you have your sword, two of them, and I saved this one in case you might have your sword. Mirror Force! And their plans? And their plans! Losers! <laughs> <laughs> crazy! Let's go! Oh, you got me hyped! Let's go! All right, Steven, this game is going down to the wire. It is. That's a little mirror force. It is. <laughs> All right, see you in one second, brother. Yes. You are at 3,500. Be careful, my friend. Two cards ahead? Yes. Your turn, brother. Draw! Your turn, Steven. Oh, that's very interesting, actually. Pot of Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this card's insane. I try to tell everyone. Steven. Holy crap. Okay, let's think. That's what do I. crazy. This game is so good. Which ones do I get here? I believe. Come on. Sack, sack. Draw bad, draw bad. Come on. Draw bad. No more mirror forces are coming. I believe no. I didn't feel like that was a mirror force, too, eh? That was crazy. I didn't feel like that was a mirror force. That was a crazy. Put back, put back these five. All right, Steven. Black Rose goes to the deck. Lone Fire stays? Yes. All right. Steven, I really hope you draw bad here, bro. That was a good top. Did you top deck that? Do I know? Yeah, I did. Crazy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Draw two. Draw Give me a Debris two. Dragon. Guys, we need So to I can win. Steven needs to draw too bad. Because Debris can summon up Lone Fire. Yeah. And then level more tokens. Oh, this will be over. <laughs> Oh, come on! Please. Two draws! One, two! Okay, it's all right. Steven's response, maybe not the best, but still two cards, still two good cards. It's getting, it's getting, it's getting, it's getting feisty out here, Steven. 
I will summon Lord Poison. What's that guy do? When this is destroyed by battle and sent to the grave, special appliance for my graveyard. Summoning my lone fire, re-triggering the hole. I want you to summon the big guy. Oh, Loophole again. Because you brought the girl back. Yes. You brought the little girl back. Knowing very well that if Lone Fire gets summoned back, you can also bring that out. So I do have many cards especially for my grave, but Lone Fire gets access to them all. Good move, good move. So my next move will be attacking you over 1,500, putting you down to a measly 2,000, and me to a massive amount of 7,750, and I'll set one and pass. Sure. Because you have a monster on the field. Not again. It's a normal summon. Oh not my swap. god. Daddy, don, don. How many of these guys do you have? I have, a, I have, a, I have, a, I have a, enough needed to do something special. I'm gonna enter battle phase. Oh, that's dangerous. Wait a sec. Enter battle that's phase fine. Not. Battle phases are for losers, and you're a winner. No. Go to, go to end phase. Go to end phase, Steven. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Steven. All right, I will draw. I will... Monster Reborn? No, Sam has Monster Reborn, he used it earlier. Crash with Lord Poison, triggering the effect of Summon Lone Fire. I'll proceed to main phase. I'll use Lone Fire, tributing one. Yep. To summon the card you are all too familiar with, my Titanial Princess of Camellias. Lone Fire's gone, right? Uh, I attributed a token. Oh, yeah. wow. And then my next move will be setting one face down and passing to you. Go ahead. I'm gonna normal summon Psychic Jumper response. No response. And a battle face? Sure. I'm going to attack a token. Sure. Struggle the Dawn, attack Lone Fire Blossom. Sure. Okay, main phase two. Yeah. All right, guys, this is my chance. If that face down set card is a level two or lower, I can do something crazy. Yep. Unfortunately, the set card was a level four. It's the best I can do. Psychic Jump Prince Sirocco the Dawn, Steven, to summon level seven. Who do you think it is? Not my Black Rose. Unfortunately, I don't. I didn't draft the Black is Rose. Is it better than Black Rose? Dark Strike! Dark Strike Fire! Fire. Dude, that means that you're gonna, uh, like, if this hit the field successfully, you're gonna try to use the effect to get rid of my own poison and then inflict a lot of damage and you have a big monster, but you're never gonna be able to do that because then you're gonna have to build Polynosis! Get yourself! You were never gonna touch the field! What you! Yeah, I might need this. Call me what, Pakula, getting rid of my own cards. But you want your Dice Strike Fighter, and it's very beautiful sleeve that you can find now on TSX1.com. To hit the field, it'll never hit the field. It'll only touch the graveyard. Ah! Goodbye. And this will come back to me. Not tributed. <sighs> and you are 2,000, which means if you have no card in your hand to protect you, uh, you will be at 500 light points. Which means all I need is one oh, attack okay. One monster with 500 or higher attack. Guys, I really hope Steven has no monster because your boy's gonna end his turn! No! I know, as I foretold. No! Steven. If only I had a monster Steven. with over 500 attack, you could pick which one would you like to end you? Violet Witch! Lord Poison! Attack 1500, Violet Witch, end it. Good game, guys. Good game. That good was games. good game. Wow. That was a good game. Good game. That was a good game. You know what? I actually felt I had a chance there, but unfortunately, it came down to the final play. Good luck to Steven in the finals. Steven, you better go beat Sam. Sam sucks. I'd like to sit here and go about how amazing my deck is, but I don't want to hand it to Sue because I had control of that whole game and he never gave up. That is an analogy for life. Never give up in anything. It's like a basketball game when you're down by seven points throughout the entire game, but you're never down by 30. He was always in the game and he never gave up. Never give up in life. Zoom, that was a great battle, but now I'm gonna face Sam in the finals. Let's go.
Wait a second. I know. I, I recognize you. It's always We were same. in the finals last episode. It's always the same. Always the same. <laughs> Good luck, bro. You too, bro. I love to, uh, to, to face you. So, I heard something else. Two. 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 I'm on six. Oh. Left off. I'm in seven next level, bro. I'll go first. Good luck. All right. So far, so decent. I will begin my turn via setting a monster. Also, two more traps. I'll pass. All right, drop a turn, Steven. Yes. All right. I'm activating Get that. That's not the start I like to see. Instant Fusion being one of the most powerful cards in our draft. I'll summon Carbonara Warrior. Okay, no problem. I would normal summon Rose Warrior over there. I don't like where this is going. Is it? Yes. I'll sit with these two cards to the grave. Stardust Dragon! I don't get one of this, but it's fine. Botanical! Does Botanical go trigger? If it's a counter trap, it's not really like the last thing to happen, and that makes sense? Yeah, I don't know. Like, if it's a synchro summon, it won't, but I don't, uh, for tribute, I think it might. All right, guys, so you guys already know Steven right here has a bunch of back row and a monster set. I have a feeling he does have Polygnosis, and the reason why I decided to Synchro Summon and just start his Dragon Mino is because I need to bait out those Polygnosis anyways. If he has it, he has it. If he doesn't, I'm going to be able to bring out my Starter's Dragon Assault Mode, but he did have it, so it's okay. I'm playing through the back row, I'm playing to the back row, and I'm just going to have a crazier follow-up from there on end. The more chance that I let Steven build multiple Polygnosis is the only way that I'm going to lose, so I need to at least... Clear one out now, and yeah, don't just, I just gotta clear it, you know? Sam's deck is very simple. You stop the assault mode cards from hitting the field, and you win the game. I know he has some traps, and what other traps does this guy have in his deck? He says assault mode activates, and that's it. So, I ha I cannot even let that card touch the field, that's just not an option. No, because, uh, no, Tribute counter trap? It's sent for a cost. I think it, no, right. It's tributed for cost, it will not, I will set to one card face down to you. I draw! Yeah, ah! My Stardust went to the grave! It was never your Stardust. It was always mine. Really? Now, I'm going to summon... Is this the strategy at the moment? It will be. None other. Lord Poison. Lord Poison! Attack him for 1,500 points of damage. Okay, I'm at 65 to 8,000. And I will pass. No turn? Yes. I'll activate Offside Goblin? Yes. I will gain 1,000. Set one card face down, set yep. another card face down, and I end my turn. Draw. I will summon the UFO Turtle. Okay. And I will attack with Lord Poison. You take 500, my Whoa! That was good. That was good. You got me there. You got me there. Gravekeeper Spy is one of the strongest cards in my deck because it has a 2,000 defense booty, and once she uses her ability to bring another spy, it gives me a level four wall with 2,000 defense, and once I top deck my Rose Warrior, I basically have a level eight synchro access, like this. Spy family. And I will sadly have to pass my turn. Spy family. Draw. So life points here, 65 to 85. I'll activate Assault Teleport! Assault Teleport? By returning Arcanite Magician to my deck, I get to draw two cards. Okay, you're good. Draw two. What is Sam cooking in that head? By the intention, by the one thing that I learned from Jesse Cotton, and it's important to learn from people who are slightly worse than you at Yu-Gi-Oh! is that every time you don't have something good going on, uh, you have a straight face. But every time you're winning the duel, you're very happy. So by judging by your face, I would say that you do not, do not have access to a tuner. That is what my judgment is. You're absolutely right. Yeah, let's go! I also don't have much plays either, but it looks like it's a... Ah! Wait! <laughs> well, you just stop my single No, 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 hold on, one sec, one sec, one sec. I have to draw something good here. And I have to econ. Okay. 
Steven right here uses enemy controller on my rules where as you guys can see this at this point I already know Steven is very very desperate to not let me make a level 8 synchro so he needs a top deck to be able to try to beat this Rose Warrior. If he doesn't, my level eight synchro is coming out and I'm gonna be able to make my Stardust Dragon Assault Mode. Let's go. Econ here sounds like a garbage play, and it is. But when your back's against the wall, you have no choice. So at this moment in time, with what I have in my hand and what I have on the field, I cannot deal with Assault Mode Stardust. I just cannot. It's a full-fledged Omni negate and comes back every turn. I cannot deal with it. So my only way to stop this is to take it, stop his tuner from one turn, and then on my following turn, I must find a way to out the Rose Warrior and Tempo's back in my favor. Nice, right, Steven. I cannot let you make a Stardust. That has to be a Salt one activate. I need a card right now, over 1600 attack. I need one of my boss monsters, Debris Dragon, Tyranitol. <laughs> you just don't freak out, trust me, right? I, I know these ones. Who would have thought 1600 was so powerful? Rose Warrior Wrench, Hyper Synchron does the same thing. Who would have thought? All right, uh, I need to find a way to out your Rose Warrior. Sadly, I cannot. So I'm gonna have to put up the best... I'm gonna have to put up a wall here okay, to okay. wait, because I know your deck. I only lose now to your massive negate monster, Stardust Assault Dragon. So until I have my outs to that, I have to put up a wall of plants, okay. my garden. How do you do until that? I could put up a decent sized wall, shout out Dandelion, but I only have about a few more turns. So I'm gonna have to go through my best route. It's not a good play, but uh, it's my best play, but it will not win me the game at the moment. I know what you're gonna do. You're, 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 you're gonna crash the world's where and bring out a little fire. Yeah, okay. a little deeper than that, but that's the first step of my five-step plan. Okay. UFO Turtle, attack Rose Warrior. So wait, you'll lose 200 Thanks. minus 300. Yes, I'll lose 500 total. But thanks to your upstart goblin, I still have 8,000. And now the effect of my UFO Turtle will trigger, summoning out my low fire blossom. I will now sadly have to go to main phase. Oh, you don't have enough for average. <laughs> sadly not. Yep. Low fire blossom will now trigger its effect to bring out my friend. Dandelion. Okay. Welcome. Next, I will activate Miracle Fertilizer. Miracle Fertilizer will then take, I will target my Lone Fire Blossom. Uh oh, you have a normal summon. I have, oh. yes, I have not normal summon. I will now use the effect of my Lone Fire Blossom. Should be Dandelion. Sure, yes. Uh, actually, sorry. I will send my own Lone Fire. Why? Oh, oh okay. To now bring out. Miss Lee's, right? Yes. My uh, Titanical Princess. Amazing. Defense or attack? Uh, defense, yes. Okay. Actually, wait, start up, yeah, 26, yeah. Actually, I'll put it in a, wait, let me think of every, put it in attack. Attack, cool. Yeah. Uh, then I'll use another Miracle Fertilizer. Damn. To bring out another Lone Fire. What? You didn't know something again. I could use Miracle Fert multiple Miracle Fertilizers as long as I don't, uh, I something. yeah. Insane. So then I'll use the effect of this okay. on the dandelion. I'll bring out another Titanial Princess. Okay. And I will then trigger my dandelion to bring out two tokens. So now I stall for as long as humanly possible. And I'll pass my turn with my monster, with, with my jungle, slash with my plant, with my garden. Pass. Sadly, I couldn't deal with the Rose Warrior. I had no option. But what I could do is set up a massive, massive wall that will now force Sam. Sure, you could summon your assault guy. But eventually, you are under the threat of literal game by having so many monsters in the field here. So I did the best I could to set up a, a big board. I need to wait until I draw my out. Uh, that assault card is very scary, but when I have a wall, I'm safe. So this is the best I can do at the moment. We'll see how the next few turns go when he summons his assault guy. Steven right now at this point is trying to wall up. His strategy is absolutely genius with Fertilizer, bringing back Lone Fire, tripping off Danny Line. This is probably one of the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen here on Duel Night. Shouts to you, Steven, that's insane. But it doesn't matter how insane Steven is. I'm just better. Time to excel synchro into Stardust Dragon and Soul the Moon. And this loss is the zombie kill. Okay, Steven. Now, I will use my Rose Warrior and my Gravekeeper Spy to Synchro Summon into Stardust Dragon! And now, I will use Assault Mode Activate! No! 
I didn't know you had this. That's one. Tribute what, Stardust. What's the tribute monster's name? It's tribute one single monster, special my one. Assault mode monster. Yep. Stardust Dragon Assault Mode. Unfortunate, but yes. No. I have to find a loophole with this card. Steven, there is no loopholes. Now, Steven. I will normal assault beast. Switch my spy to attack mode. I will enter battle phase. My first Stardust will attack into your titanium. No! I will lose 200. 200. Now, assault beast will attack into your lone fire. And now, spy will attack into one token. Leaving you at that. Now, Steven, I will end my turn. That is good, my friend. I will summon you a turtle. Okay. And then I'll enter the battle phase and I'll attack you for 900 points of damage. Okay. And then for 200 more points of damage. Okay. That's good. Pass. Let's die. Oh, yes. I'll draw a turn. Yes. My man has two assault one activate sets. Could also be a scapegoat. I will enter the battle phase. Yes. Attack Titanium. You triggered nothing. I'll take 200. You're at 76. 54 to 76. And I'll end my turn. Bro, it's not a big ass, bro. Just want the free dragon. I will activate Part of Avarice! Uh, target? Everything except one target. I should have seven. Sure. I'll play my targets. Okay. He's fine. Ah! What the fuck? No! It's my own judgment! <laughs> but I will still win. I'm gonna attack. Uh, I think you want to use it. Um, I'll use it. I'll activate World Tree. Each time a plant monster in the field is destroyed, place one flower counter on this card. You can remove any number of flower counters on this card. Target a plant monster in the field that targets it gains 400 attack and defense. And last time I checked. Well, you don't have any wall damage. That's 28. Well, I'll get one eventually. Okay. And I'll somehow summon a third one of these, okay. and that'll be 3,200. Okay. Sure. This is where my set begins. Go ahead. Also, when it has two, I destroy a card in the field. When it has three, I target a plant on my graveyard special summon. Cool. There it is! The most broken card in my entire deck. World Tree. Now this idea, with uh, this whole turn, was very strategic. His card cannot negate the effects. Assault Mode Stardust cannot negate effects. He can only negate cards and activations. Henceforth, I utilize all those cards. Pot of Avarice, baited. I use my Poison Lord card, knowing he'll negate that as well. Leaving it so my plant, my world plant tree, save the world by planting trees, would not get negated. Now that it hits the field, when any time my, any of my plants get destroyed, it gains a counter. When my card gets two counters, it destroys his assault card. He might have one or two MST style cards in his deck. I just need him to not out this world plant tree, and the duel is mine. One car, plant tree versus the world, I will win this duel. Steven thinks like he baited out my assault mode to activate world tree. He's so happy with this, but I have just the perfect thing up my sleeve. I, I don't have sleeves, but you get what I mean. Are you scared? And face. Oh, I can't do it. That's why I did it! Never give up! Now, the duel's mine as long as. Wow. You don't have five monsters. You have five monsters. I need bought average, Steven. So, one, two, I'll put back the starters that was negated. Three, four, then Carbonara Warrior. Five. That's six. That's six. Oh, I'm sorry. Come on. I, need you. I know what you need, and I will not say what the card is. I'll never manifest this nonsense. I will only manifest my victories, which I will only receive from the greatest person in the universe, God. Amen. And his favorite soldier, Stephen J. Trifonoski, Trif Gaming. 
So you know what's crazy, bro? What's that? I'm just insane. I'm the good Time to kick things into overdrive! Oh yeah? That's not even how we talk! Shut up! Bro. Listen, Sam. Oh you're Sam. God. Sam. Sam. Oh, you're not Yusei, bro. Yusei is a pussy, you're him. That's what I'm saying, dog. That's right. Round two. Did you draw a massive card? Honestly, guys, I just capped. I didn't have anything on my sleeve, but Pot of Average drew me into a salt mercenary to get rid of his world tree. I'm actually you say, bro. Steven, I did, and you're about to be really sad on what I drew, Steven, because I'm gonna summon a salt mercenary. That's literally the exact same card that I did not want to say the name of because I knew that that was his only answer of victory, and now I'm going to lose. I'll but I'll still never give up because it's still a chance. So, you going after me if I'm my dad? Yeah. I'm not I don't just want I literally, you only play one of these in your deck. Yeah. I knew, I knew it. I, oh, you're a good card. I, I told him to play, it's okay. It, it's, it's fine. It's fine for you. Oh, I thought I got your ass. I thought I baited you. I'm like, this is active. I win the game now. I'll use the fight. This whole uh, special sub man, a plan. Yep. I'll set this, set this, and base on a special Uh, attack, attack. Yeah. Ah, you're close. I don't know what this will somehow, some way. What was it? Okay. 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 Are you sure? Uh, yeah. Okay, set. So, pass. Wait. Before you attack. Yes. It's officially a month into the new year. Yes. I'll not accept this attack unless you have at least a four pack. What? A four pack? Ah, uh, we know you don't have that, GG. GG! Attack! GG! GG! I demand a rematch on Patreon! We will. I'm about a deck! Rematch on Patreon right now! Let's go! I lost. I lost. But only at the game of Duel Night, not at life. Because I have a blue eyes, white blonde waiting for me at the moment. So I'm gonna go, uh, go on my date. But you guys, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know I enjoyed it. Sadly, we couldn't pull off the victory, but we will next week. I want to give a massive shout out to Sam for winning. But I will get you and my revenge on the ultimate winner's match on Patreon. Yes! 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 I, I don't want to be that guy, but I'm going to have to be that guy. I wasn't really trying for season two, you know? You feel me? I wasn't really trying, you know what I'm saying? For five years, it's different, and I'm going to win every single episode from now on. Steven is very upset right now, but it's okay, guys. Steven and I are facing off right now in the best two out of three finals right now on the Patreon, guys. So guys, yeah guys, check out the Patreon in the link down below. And of course, the ultimate bum match between Milano and Zoom is also happening right now on the Patreon. So guys, check it out, link down below. And that's it for me guys on episode three of Duel Night. I had a great time today. Thank you for inviting me. If you guys wanna see more of me duel, go check out our ultimate losers match on Patreon. Patreon.com, link is in the bio. Guys, lots of fun duels there. And um, let's see me survive the ultimate loser match. But I'll be back. I have to win in the 5Ds season because I just love you say. Let's go. Yo, beat me up, mama. All right, guys, that's pretty much wraps up for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This episode was insane. Stay tuned for next episode, Do Night Raging Battle. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the Patreon. This is your boy Sam from Team Sam Sam Sam. Yeah. All right, guys. Peace.